Hi everyone! Good day! I'm Shell E. Bobis, your caregiver student from Sassin, Quezon City. So today, I'm going to perform a return demonstration of administering a nasal gastric tube feeding. So let's find first the definition of nasal gastric tube feeding. So a nasal gastric tube feeding, it means it's providing of liquid nourishment through the tube into the intestinal tract when client is unable to take food or any nutrients orally. So let's and the purpose of this or aims is to provide adequate nutrition to give large amount of liquids for therapeutic purpose to provide alternative manner to some specific clients when has potential or acquired swallowing swallowing difficulties. So let's uh prepare the equipment so we need to have a disposable gloves a feeding solution prescribed so pretend that we have a feeding solution prescribed like this one and then the dispo uh, feeding bag with tubing or the feeding tubing watering jug measuring clamp and paper towel and the doctor dis uh, description or, or the or so next or is we need to assemble all the requirements needed so next is we need to have to prepare the formula can so we can shake it and then <laughs> shake the can thoroughly check the expiration date also so feeding solution may settle and require mixing before administration so pretend that we have a septo syringe like this and then next is explain the procedure to the client uh, providing explanation fosters clients cooperation and understanding and then next is we need to wash our hands and then put Position the, gloves the on. client with the head of the bed elevated at least 30 to 40 and to 45 degree angle positioning that helps avoiding aspiration of feeding solution into the lungs next that i mean the placement of feeding tube by uh, inserting 10 to 20 ml of air into tube Inserting 3 to 5 ml of air, uh, you need to inject air while listening with the stethoscope over the left upper quadrant. Inject a, whoosh, um, a whooshing or gurgling sound usually indicates that the tube is in the stomach. So using the syringe, feeding the following. Clamp the tube, insert the tip of the large syringe with plunger or bulb, remove it to the gastric tube. So pretend that we are removing the cover of this and then we will put the aseptic syringe with this. And then pour feeding into the syringe. So we're going to shake the bottle first. Raise the syringe 12 to 8 Raise the syringe 12 to 18 inches above the stomach. Open the clamp. Allow the feeding to flow slowly into the stomach. Raise the and, and lower the syringe to control the rate of the flow. Add additional formula to the syringe as it empties until feeding is complete. Gravity pro promotes movement of feeding into the stomach. Controlling administration and flow the rate feeding prevents air from entering the stomach and nauseous and abdominal cramping from developing.
Eight is you need termination of feeding. Terminate feeding when completed. Instill prescribed amount of water. To maintain pot potency of the tube. Keep the client's head elevated for 20 to 30 minutes. Elevated position discourage aspiration of feeding solution into the lungs. Then, next is offer mouthwash. Keep the lip moist. Mouth care promotes oral hygiene and provide comfort. And then, clean and replace equipment to proper place to prevent contamination of, equi of equipment and prepare for the next and procedure. Then, we need to remove the gloves and perform hand hygiene to prevent the spread of infection. Document the date, time, amount of residual amount of feeding and client's reaction to feeding Sign the chart. So documentation provides continuity of care. Giving signature maintains professional accountability. Um, administering, administering nasal gastric tube feeding is done. Thank you for watching and God bless.